Today I'm going to share with you how to make these really cool DIY mirrored gift tags. You're going to need some surfaces, solvent ink from Clear Snap, some clear mirrored shapes from Clear Scraps, some stamps, and some smooch accent ink. So I'm just going to use the frame for this project and I'm taking my Colorbox Surfaces ink pad and I'm adding a little bit of the re-inker to it to make it nice and juicy. Um, sometimes the pads will get a little bit dry so I live in a really really dry area and if you don't close it all the way it might dry so you want to make sure that you ink it up really nice then I'm using these inspiration stamps from Joanne Fink to stamp um, this mandala image onto the mirror now the ink dries instantly which is awesome but um, a lot of people don't like their rubber stamps to be stained so I'm gonna use a surfaces cleaner here to clean off this rubber stamp and I'm just um, rubbing the cleaner on the stamp and then pressing it into a paper towel and then using a paper towel to get the last bit of the cleaner out of the stamp and you can see that it is back to regular brand new nice red rubber so this will not stain your stamps if you use the cleaner to clean it off now that my um, stamped image is dry on the mirror I'm going to use some smooch accent ink to color in the flowers and the designs um, that I stamped on the mirror now the surfaces ink is a solvent ink so that dries really fast and it works great on non-porous surfaces like these clear scraps mirrors, clear scraps acrylic books, and other things that clear scraps makes um, as well as traditional things like wood and paper and uh, cork and that kind of thing that you would want to stamp on. It also will work on fabric. Now what I'm using to add the color is um, Smooch Accent Ink. Color box surfaces is available in a bunch of different colors. I think there's 12 right now. But um, it's not really easy to paint on because it dries super fast. Smooch Accent Ink dries really, really slowly. And I'm actually going to use a heat gun to heat set this. But um, what's nice is that you can blend it. And it's a little bit transparent. So if you put it on thin, you can see through it so I'm painting this right over the top of my stamped image but you're still going to be able to see all of the detail of the stamp through the smooch accent ink once everything is painted the way that you want it use a heat gun to heat set the ink um, you want to do this anytime that you're using smooch accent ink on a non-porous surface like these clear scraps mirrors um, these come with like a, a little uh, glue blob on the back of them to hold it into the package so you want to peel that off and then I'm using some mirrored cardstock here again with his inspiration stamp and the color box surfaces ink to stamp onto that mirrored cardstock. And then I got some double sided tape here that I'm putting around the inside back of that mirrored frame. And then I'm going to put my mirrored cardstock that I stamped in the middle of it. And this is going to make the base of my gift tag. So I have that all centered. Then I decided I wanted to add some more bling. So I put some sequins here around the inside side border of the uh, little frame. So I'm using some Tombow Mono Multi Liquid Glue to adhere a strip of sequins all the way around the inside of the um, of the frame. And the sequins and the trim that I'm going to use later are from Decorative Trimmings. I got all of these supplies uh, for free from these companies because I'm either on their design team or they gifted it to me at a show or something like that. So once you have your sequins all the way around the inside and press into the glue, let that dry a little bit and trim the sequins. And then I used a Tombow adhesive dot to put some of this really cool um, like pom-pom trim from decorative trimmings on the back of my frame so that I could make this into a functional gift tag. So here you can see how fun it is. It's a different looking gift tag and the stamping and coloring on top of the mirror looks really, really cool. You can also do this on clear scraps, acrylic books and acrylic items as well as some of their wood and chipboard items. If you are looking at this in July, please head over to my blog. I'll put a link here um, in the description because we're doing a giveaway and a blog hop and stuff with Clear Scraps and Clear Snap. I know it's super, super confusing, um, but make sure that you head over there to enter the giveaway and click any, any of these videos here to see more crafty goodness. And also, if you are not yet subscribed, hit that red subscribe button down below, or if you're watching this on my blog, hit the subscribe that's on top of the typewriter. See you again soon. Bye.